Bhagavatam, as it is known, very well known, refers to that which is of the Lord, that which is of Bhagavan is called Bhagavatam. And it also means it is from Bhagavan. Bhagavataha idam Bhagavatam Bhagavataha ayam Bhagavatam So in Srimad Bhagavatam there are stories of devotees of Bhagavan stories of Bhagavan and teachings from Bhagavan in short it is the means to understand the life, the work and the teachings of Bhagavan and his devotees. And through these, how we can become his true devotees. This text is composition of the great sage Bhagavan Ved Vyasa Rishi. Bhagavan Ved Vyasa we all know Vishal Buddhi, one who had great intelligence. And in Bhagavatam itself it is said that he was incarnation of Bhagavan Vishnu. And for guiding all of us, he has composed the scripture. It is known as Mahapuran. Puran is that which reveals the most ancient and eternal truth. That is Puran. In Mahapuran or Mahapuranam, the same truth is revealed in greater depth. So there are Puranas and there is Mahapurana also. Srimad Bhagavatam is Mahapurana. For any text to become Mahapurana, it has to discuss certain topics. It is revealed in Vedas and the Upanishads which is summarized in Bhagavad Gita. Same theme is elaborated in Itihasa and Purana. So I will give you one example. Let us say in your office, on your desk, you have one nice picture, one by one, one feet by one feet, you know, small, but it is very beautiful and it has lots and lots of details.
and you want people to understand and appreciate all those details. But when they come to your office desk and see that picture, most of the time they fail to absorb all the details which are there in that picture. And so you decide to enlarge that picture. You know they have those high density pictures with lots of pixels put in there. So you expand this maybe to 6 by 4, 6 feet by 4 feet picture and you put it in your big dining room and everyone who walks in looks at that picture and says wow this is great but still everyone is not able to capture all the details which are given there there are still lot of hidden things And somebody says, somebody gives you a suggestion, why don't you make a billboard out of this? Maybe 15 feet by 10 feet or 20 feet, something like that. Huge! And get all the details out. And you like that idea. And when that is created and put on the road, on the street. Anyone who goes by looks at it. You cannot miss it. So Srimad Bhagavatam is like that billboard. The picture which was on your office desk it is like the Upanishads. It has lots and lots of details in very precise form which we can either not capture or fail to absorb completely. And the one in your dining room, the dining hall, intermediate, is like Bhagavad Gita. One level expansion from the Upanishad, little bit easy on eyes and on mind also, but yet has lots of details. So Bhagavan Ved Vyas Ji, he simplified this message of Upanishads and Bhagavad Gita in the story forms here in Mil. There is ghee, but it is hidden. Through the churning process, that ghee is taken out. In that way, whatever is there in Upanishads, in Vedanta, in Bhagavad Gita, through this process of churning, in Bhagavatam, it is taken out. Yatha dukde sthitam sarpihi naswada yopakalpate And because it is taken out, it can be distinctly, now in this country we rarely see sugar cane. If you go to Miami and all, you will see big fields. In sugar cane, there is sugar everywhere. But if you try to chew the top portion of the sugar cane, no juice will come. Bottom portion, all the knots will be there. I don't know if you have seen the whole thing. Only in the middle portion. And that too, we have to chew it properly to get the essence of sugar. <coughs> So if you are given one sugar cane and on the other hand sugar, what would you choose? 
that is what it is